When you think about animation, you think most likely about either illustration or you think about computers or perhaps you think about rigging. However, animation is much more than that. And one of the main things that you have to do in animation is task management, managing your time, managing the amount of tasks that you have to do. And specifically for gameplay animation, for gameplay animators, um, planning your shots as much as possible, knowing exactly how much time you have, knowing how many tasks you have is super, super important. So in this video, I'd like to share some tips on task management for animators to make sure that you can offload your brain from all kinds of stuff that are not animation related and you can focus on the animation itself because that takes all of your brain all of the time. So let's do that next. Welcome to another video. So I'm super excited about this video because I have been bouncing through many, many, many um, types of different software that I used for task management. So basically what I wanted to share with you guys is very much like an optimized way that I've found over the years on how to actually get task management in an easy way in order for you to get the most um, out of your project. What I've done as well is team up with an amazing partner for this video specifically called ClickUp. More on that later, and it's gonna come in clutch specifically for this video because we're talking about task management and ClickUp does amazing task management. Now, what I want to say as we get started is that animators normally t face two types of work. Normally is structured work that is basically linear that you have to do, you're getting paid to actually do that work. And then you have spontaneous like ideas that come up and definitely check out my last video where I was talking about capturing those ideas. But more than that, you need to make sure that those spontaneous ideas don't distract from your daily work. And so how do you go about doing that? And how do you go about making sure that those two things can live together and you take them off your head? Because the main thing that you're doing here is making sure that what's inside your head at any one moment when you're in front of the computer is that you are focused on the task of animating and you're not really trying to remember anything. I don't know if you guys heard, but many people out there say that the brain is not the best tool to remember things, it's better at doing tasks on in the present, which means that, and this is the idea behind to-do lists, which means that offloading some of the stuff that you need to remember means that it gives you more processing power for you to focus on your animations to make sure that it's captured somewhere, now I can focus on this. And this is basically the idea of this task management system that I've been trying to perfect over the years and I think it's gonna take me a lifetime to do. I don't think anybody has the one solution, but I'll show you guys my solution uh, so you guys can hopefully make better task management for yourselves. Now, I'm gonna have to go over there that's where my computer is, so I can show you through ClickUp exactly how I do it. However, just know as a heads up that you can use any software that you want. It's just this piece of software because it's brilliant and I use it myself personally. I used to use about five of them, now I only use one and it's great. So let's do it. To start, why use this instead of paper? So I think that task management systems help you to organize your ideas in a way that is way better, for sure. And also what I would like to do is normally break down larger tasks into smaller tasks so it makes sense. So that's two ways of thinking about this. Um, when it comes to your level. So you can use a tool like this if you are an animation director. So I've used tools like this in order to basically have tasks break down, have names of animators next to them so we understand exactly who's doing what and assign tasks to, to people. So there's a team management uh, element to this, which I've done. And this is kind of how we had uh, Proxima set up in the, uh, initially. So you have a team space here that basically allows you to see uh, the documentation of, the, of your team, your bookmarks and stuff, which is really, really cool. But I'm going to like look at this from a personal perspective of you as an animator trying to do tasks. So one of the first things that you need, need to do is taking notes, take notes as quick as possible from an animation director, from an, a lead, anybody like that. So this also exists on an app. If you're actually on the go, if you are in a meeting, all that stuff you can do here. One of the things that I normally like to do is keep an eye on the right side of your screen because it's going to be super interesting and super powerful because there's lots of shortcuts. So you have shortcuts here 
down here uh, and this is there's a lot of AI within ClickUp in order to help you to not only find things but write things better and stuff but for, for us as animators because we are looking to capture ideas capture thoughts capture um, what's been told to us um, half of the time is not important but just know that those tools are there for you but one of the ones that I use the most is here on the top so there's a bunch of different things that you can do really really quickly and it should help you a ton so here is right here on this one is a notepad so this is where i normally would actually capture my my ideas so let's say that i am with my animation lead and he's telling me that he needs these changes to my animation i'll go ahead and start typing here you know change one uh change two now I'm going to go back to my desk and what I'm going to do is make sure that these ideas turn into to do's for me to go and tick them. So uh, converting this into tasks, you can basically uh, here is your recent tasks. But once again, going back to these buttons, you can just go click this thing here and guess what happens? You get to do a task here. So this is basically a blank page that basically allows you to capture tasks. And if you have team members, you can chat with those team members. But for now, we are basically capturing a task. We'll just capture a task. And then we'll add this uh, to uh, the same name. So change one. And then you add a description for the change one. Um, and that's basically what you do. And then you can basically set that task for either today, tomorrow, next week. Uh, if your director says, no rush, finish what you're doing, do it for next week, you can just basically go ahead and change that and add that date. And then you basically create that tasks that task and then you're good to go, right? Once you create that task and you go through them all, you can basically go ahead and close this bit here with, a, with the X and you'll have like tasks here assigned to me. This is just for you. So you can go ahead and just move this. Now, when it comes to task management, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, ClickUp. As you can see, when it comes to productivity, it is absolutely amazing tool that has everything under one roof. If you're like me, you know the struggle of finding the right tool for your workflow. ClickUp stands out because it's designed to handle all types of projects and can adapt to any team's needs. For example, when I'm working in complex animation projects, I can break everything down into smaller tasks. I can plan short sequences, break down ideas all in one place. It keeps everything organized and at my fingertips. And the best part is I can structure my entire workflow from start to finish without switching between different apps. Task management, project tracking, or collaborating with teams is a breeze with ClickUp. So go and try ClickUp if you actually want to unleash your creativity. Trust me, it's the kind of tool that turns chaos into creativity. And thanks once again to ClickUp for sponsoring this video. Now, another thing that you can do and is really, really big for animators is that basically if you have Maya, I'm just going to open my Maya quickly so I can show you. There's one little button here that basically allows you to record clips. And then once you go, go ahead and do that, you can basically go here, you share, you start talking, you do the thing, you do the animation. And I don't know, I'm just going to create a cube here and make it big. And uh, is this big enough? Cool. Stop sharing. And then you have your clip here that you can copy link or create a new task about for this. So once again, hopefully you start to see the connection there about the task making and the planning. So you have that, you create a task and then you actually, it's here, right? It's, it's ready for you to show the animation, the animator. Now, the beauty of this is that a lot of the time in animation, as you're working with others, or even if you're working for yourself, when you're finishing a specific animation, you normally have to attach a specific clip to that animation. So let's say it's a walk cycle. You, you finish walk cycle one. You normally have to finish that walk cycle, include it in the ticket, which is this task. And then your lead director will be able to see it. So this is a really easy way for you to basically share tasks. And then once you finish actually doing this, you can basically assign it to somebody else. So if you have, let's say, a list of people here and you have a director, you go ahead and assign it and then basically like this and then he'll be able to see it on his end. Or if it's just for you, well, you can actually just basically add a date to it and basically say, I finished this animation at this date here and basically in the custom fields or in the checklists or in the in the data, you can basically say this is animation for so and so. So you can write a comment if you want to. If you're working with somebody else, they can write a comment. So it's very collaborative. So one of the things that I use a lot is normally track time right here. So I can actually pin it here. And then basically if I click this button, 
um, I can basically say, um, like, let me say, uh, animation of a walking loop. Um, and this is for me personally. I want to know how long I take or maybe if I want to have breaks. So if I actually press play, I then I'm, I'm tracking the time of the task selected. You know that for this task, you are been working on this task for 21 seconds. Whenever you finish the task, you can go ahead and stop it. And then the, ne the next one is definitely calendar. There's other software as well that you can basically sync calendars, like an Outlook calendar or whatever, to this one so you know what you need to do on the day. Now, there's other things that you can actually do as well. Obviously, you can chat with the team members, but we're not going to go into that. And also, you can use a whiteboard right here. And this is for you to throw anything at it, any notes, any anything like, like that. So just to reiterate on the whole process, uh, once you actually get with your animation lead, senior, whoever is giving you tasks, the first thing that I would do is basically capture those ideas after you capture those ideas, you have to make sure that you add them to a to-do list about like that you need to basically close, right? This to-do list will show up in your home or you can actually kind of like have a specific board for to-do lists that allows you to then track it, right? Once you actually have this to-do list done, what I would do is basically make sure that each task, each, each task as you're working on it, just make sure you open it, leave it open because it's in front of you and then set a timer for that ta task if you want to. And then, uh, as I mentioned before, there's a bunch of other things that you can do, such as recording your animation and capturing within the task for either like revision later on for your director, your lead, or yourself. If you're actually working for yourself and you're working on your portfolio, you're working on your showreel, perhaps you are tracking like the progress of your of your shot. You start to see that everything starts to be included in one tool. So you as an animator, as you open this tool every morning, because it needs to be every single day, you know that your calendar is there, your tasks are there, you know what to do, you know how much time you are taking per task, and you can capture those tasks as an animator, because we need to have videos all the time, to make sure that everything is neat. This is basically how we started Proxima, and then we moved into other tools, but this is incredibly powerful, and it's really, really cool. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the video and the hands-on with task management. Now, the tools that I would actually recommend here uh, is uh, TickTick for sure. Uh, obviously, ClickUp that I just showed you guys. Haptabase is incredibly powerful and uh, hopefully I'll go into it in a future video. So yeah, I mean, brave new world, right? The tech, the, the tech keeps getting better, making our lives easier. So go and use it and make it work for you. So. That was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, and comment below about your favorite tools when it comes to capturing your ideas and breaking down your ideas further if you already use this method. And until the next video, stay well, stay safe.